I am Shweta Haradekar from the BMC Cloud Lifecycle Management Documentation Team and this video is about what's new in BMC Cloud Lifecycle Management version 4.1 patch 1. In this patch, apart from the corrected issues, there are several small features uh, such as the modify SOI description, restart SOI, DNS configuration in quick start and sync new pod networks included in this patch. To view the corrected issues in this patch, you need to log on to docs.bmc.com and access the known and corrected issues link provided here. On the known and corrected issues topic, uh, you can use the table filter provided on top of the table to view the issues corrected in 4.1 uh, patch 1 and details about the issues, the categories such as whether the issue was a blueprint one or related to callouts, related to quick starts, SOIs, etc. is also provided. You can use this table to determine whether to install or upgrade to this patch based on your requirements. When you have a large number of SOIs with more or less the same names, it becomes very difficult to identify the difference between SOIs. Uh, as an end user or a cloud administrator, you could not edit the description of the SOI after it was created. In this match, you can now edit the description of a service offering instance from the cloud lifecycle management, either the My Cloud Services console if you are an end user or from the service instances workspace if you are a cloud admin. An operator action modify description is added to uh, these consoles. It enables you to change the description of the SOI. From the list of services, you can select the service offering instance and click the uh, select the operator action modify description. Uh, the modify service instance dialog box is displayed. You can change the description as required and click OK. A restart operation is now available from the service instances workspace. A cloud administrator can restart any service SOI. Supported providers are VMware, uh, Amazon, Citrix, IBM, and vCloud only. An end user can restart the SOI from the My Cloud Services console. When you perform the restart operation, the status of the SOI changes to restarting. Uh, the status changes to running after the VM is restarted successfully. You cannot restart any platform as a service, that is a pass container from the workspace. Using Quick Start, you can now configure the DNS registration details for the VMware pod or environment network. On the Quick Start home page, if you are configuring a new VMware setup, on the new network pod page, you can uh, click the Add DNS Registration Details button uh, to add the DNS registration details. The options such as the fields uh, such as the primary DNS servers, reverse DNS server, secondary DNS server, primary domain fix, DNS domains, and reverse DNS zone are displayed. You can remove. You can click the remove button to remove uh, the registration details. Whenever you create new networks in a pod in BMC Network Automation. These networks must be synced in BMC Cloud Lifecycle Management for them to be visible and to be able to provision to the new networks. While creating a new network, ensure that you add all required nodes before you perform the sync pod operation. You can only synchronize new networks or new nodes which you add in BMC Network Automation. Um, any changes made to the pod which does not involve adding any new networks or nodes are not synchronized. To synchronize uh, these pods, you can go to the resource management workspace and click these uh, click pods and then uh, the pods are visible. Select a particular pod and then click synchronize pod option. Well, you can view the details of all the uh, features and more information about downloading the installation files or installing this patch at the BMC online technical documentation portal docs.bmc.com at the link provided here. We hope this video was informative about what's new in BMC Cloud Lifecycle Management version 4.1 patch 1. Thank you for watching.